In this video, you can learn about the chemical machining process. This chemical machining process is also known as chemical milling process. Here, this is the arrangement of chemical machining process. You are having the container like this. In this container, the chemical solution will be available and then the workpiece will be immersed in the chemical solution. To heat the chemical solution, uh, there is a heating coil like this. Uh, the power supply will be given to this heating coil after that if you switch on the coil what will happen the heating coil provides the heat to the chemical solution so your chemical solution will be very hot after that you are having the stirrer like this so that your uh, stirrer uh, gives the heat to the uh, solution evenly there are four processes available in the chemical machining process. Here, first thing is cleaning and then masking, after that etching and finally you are having the demasking. So these all are the process carried in the chemical machining process. So first thing is cleaning. So we want to clean the workpiece thoroughly by using the solvent. So first thing is you need to clean the workpiece uh, thoroughly after the cleaning process it should be washed and then it should be dried after the cleaning process you need to go for the masking process so what is masking masking is the process of covering the portion of workpiece which are not to be machined so um, we want to machine the workpiece in some area okay so other area should be masked then only the unwanted area will not be machined. After the masking process, uh, etching will be carried. Normally, rubber sheet will be used for the masking process. So, after the masking process, you need to go for the etching process. In the etching process, the unwanted material will be removed from the workpiece. So, here, um, after the masking process, your uh, workpiece will be uh, placed in a hot chemical solution. Uh, here, uh, chemical solution will be very hot uh, because of heating coil. This heating coil provides the uh, heat to the chemical solution. Uh, to heat the heating coil, uh, we are using the electricity. Okay. So, if your workpiece will be immersed in the chemical solution, what will happen? The um, erosion will be carried in the workpiece. Unmasked area will be uh, uh, machined by using the uh, etchant. So, erosion will be carried like this. So, here um, metal removal rate uh, you should consider here. Okay. Uh, different etchant uh, will be used according to the workpiece. If you are using the uh, steel means, sulfuric acid will be used as a uh, etchant, that means uh, solution. Uh, here, uh, the acid covers the metal into metal salts. Uh, for example, if your uh, workpiece will be the iron means, the iron sulphate will be formed here. Okay, So, due to this, the metal removal uh, will be carried in the uh, unmasked area like this. I want to remove the material like this this is the slot slot will be formed uh, by using the erosion process this uh, erosion process will be carried by the etchant uh, like uh, uh, sulfuric acid so that the metal will be removed uh, from the workpiece this metal removal rate will be depends upon the concentration of etchant under the temperature of the chemical solution so your uh, temperature uh, and the concentration of etchant will be um, controlled by the voltage supply here. So if you give the more uh, power supply, what will happen? The uh, heating coil gets the heat uh, more and more and uh, it will be uh, given to the chemical solution. Your chemical solution will be very hard. So if you control the voltage, what will happen? The chemical solution uh, will be controlled okay that means uh, uh, your uh, uh, temperature of the chemical solution will be controlled so that concentration will be uh, decreased so in this way the metal removal will be carried in the uh, chemical machining process okay
so your metal removal rate will be high when the concentration and temperature of the etchant will be high for this case uh, the voltage given to the heating coil will be more and also your metal removal rate will be very low uh, in case of your concentration and temperature of the etchant will be uh, low uh, in that ca case what will happen the voltage will be controlled uh, in the heating coil uh, after the uh, metal removal what will happen uh, demasking will be uh, carried so after the etching process or erosion process the work piece is taken out from the etchant and then your work piece will be cleaned by using the water and then the masking sheet will be removed so this is the process carried in the chemical whisking process and then advantages what are the advantages of the chemical whisking process less skilled operator is required okay so no you need not to go for the um, specialist for uh, this chemical machining process okay so then uh, this process is suitable for all type of metals so you you may having a um, conductive material as well as non conducting material so both both of these material can be measured by using the chemical machining process the rate of metal removal can be controlled by using the uh, uh, power supply easily so metal removal rate will be controlled easily and then the metal can be removed uniformly okay so metal can be removed uniformly all sides of uh, work piece can be machined at the same time if i want to remove the uh, all sides of work piece means um, the all, uh, all sides uh, will be contact in the chemical solution um, what will happen the same time at the same time this uh, all sides of uh, work piece will be measured uh, uniform okay so here this disadvantage main disadvantage of the chemical machining process is the very very slow process um, so it is not suitable to remove the large metal particles from the work piece so after that chemicals we are using the chemical solution as a uh, etchant here so chemicals are injurious to health uh, what are the applications so we can apply this chemical machining process to remove the material uh, for the automobile parts and uh, aircraft parts uh, and also and uh, it can be used to machine irregular shape also for a complicated uh, machining area uh, it is very suitable uh, so these are the application okay we will see in the next video